Whether you're launching a new podcast or growing a show, in this video we want to show you all the things you can do with Apple Podcasts in the Creator Dashboard to make sure your show stands out from all the others. Also, there were some big updates in iOS 17 to Apple Podcasts, things like custom episode artwork, chapter art, and you can even offer paid subscriptions to your listeners so they can get early access or bonus content from your show. Well, we're going to show you how to set all of that up in this video starting right now. Step one, you want to visit Apple Podcast Connect. This is the creator dashboard where you manage all the details of your show in Apple Podcasts. So whether your show is already live and need to claim ownership or you're creating a new show in Apple Podcasts, you do it all here. You do sign into Apple Podcast Connect with an Apple ID. So if you use an email or a login on all your Apple devices like iPhone, Mac, or iPad, you can use that same login here on the dashboard, or if you need to create a new Apple ID, you can do it here on the start screen as well. Now, if you already manage a bunch of shows, you'll see them here on your dashboard, but let's say we want to add a new podcast to our account. Here where it says podcast, you'll see a purple plus button. If I click that, I can then choose new channel or new show. We'll explain the purpose of a channel in a moment. Let's say we want to add a new show via RSS feed. I'll click new show, and then Apple Podcasts is going to ask if this is an RSS feed show or without. Technically, you could actually upload files directly to Apple Podcasts and just have the show here, but of course we would recommend finding a great podcast host like Transistor or Buzzsprout, and then get the RSS feed from that podcast host and submit it here. If you need more help with RSS feeds and submitting those to things like Apple Podcasts and Spotify, check out the video above or links in the description. We'll choose add a show with an RSS feed, and here we'll paste that RSS feed. Once you paste it, Apple Podcasts will get all the information from that feed, ask you to approve it, it'll go through a submission process, and usually 24 to 48 hours, you'll see the show live here in Apple Podcasts. If it's your first time submitting a show, you might need to hit the publish button here on the show page, and that will actually make the show live in Apple Podcasts. Now this is what it looks like to manage an individual podcast here in the dashboard. You'll see most of this information is pulled from my podcast host. There is an option to choose how often this podcast publishes new episodes. We would recommend putting that here. Many podcast players will let listeners know this is a bi-weekly show, a weekly show, or monthly, and that will develop an expectation for your next episode to come out. Make sure you follow that schedule and choose a schedule that you can actually maintain long term. If you published a new episode and you're trying to get it to hit Apple Podcasts quickly, you can choose to refresh your RSS feed here, but I would use this sparingly. You don't have to do this every time you publish a new episode. Typically, this is only if it's for something time sensitive and you really want that episode to hit as quick as possible. Now, using this left hand sidebar, I can go down to availability, and you want to make sure your show is available in all countries and regions. And a lot of podcast apps use the Apple Podcast directory to distribute your show to other apps. So, you want to make sure that box is checked as well. If I go down to subscription, this is what the subscription information for this show looks like. To do this, you do have to set up a channel, and we'll get to that in just a second. You can also go down to the ratings and reviews and see some recent star ratings and reviews for your show. So, that's all the show details. Now, let's click over to episodes. Again, most of these episodes will be pulled from your RSS feed and podcast hosting provider. So you don't have to manage a lot here. But if you're offering subscriber audio, meaning this is audio that only those who pay for your show can listen to, this is where you'll do it. We're going to come back to this page after we set up our subscription. Now, let's say you want to offer a paid subscription for your show. Well, Apple Podcasts makes that easy. There is a $20 annual fee to be able to offer subscriptions, but hopefully your podcast will recoup that pretty quickly with some kind of subscription. You can offer monthly or yearly subscriptions. And there's various benefits, which we'll show you in a second. To create a subscription, you actually need to create a channel, even if it's just for one show. Typically in Apple Podcasts, a channel is a group of shows. Maybe it's a podcast network or just related shows, and channels can be browsed by listeners in the app as well. But you still need to create a channel, even if you just have one show and you want to offer a subscription. So to do that, I'm going to click the plus button again here on the main page and choose new channel. You can name this channel the name of your singular show, or if you have a podcast network or group of shows, you can name it that network. I'm going to call this channel Bearded Teacher, and let's create. Now here on the channel, there's a bunch of artwork that you should add to make sure it's appealing to your listeners and visitors. There's actually an entire web page on Apple's site that talks about all the resolutions and graphic requirements for this artwork. We'll put the link to that page down in the description, and if you need help creating artwork, maybe with AI or with tools like Canva, Check out this video above or in the description, we'll help you out there as well. You'll want to add a description for this channel. Again, I'm going to put some just filler text in here. You can add a website, and then you also want to add the podcast that you've already published into this channel. Again, it can be multiple shows or just a singular show, but I'm going to add one right here. Now for the subscription side, we can get started and offer things like bonus content, early access, maybe ad-free versions of the episodes. Let's hit continue. Here's a channel where I've completed all the artwork, added a show, and then down here under subscription, 
you'll see the options to add benefits and what it will look like to visitors in the Apple Podcast app. You can also add pricing here. It will change it per country. You only need to specify pricing in your local currency. And you can also add a free trial. A free trial is great because someone might want to listen to that bonus content but not pay yet. So it'll hopefully get them to hear a few episodes, get them hooked, and then they will automatically pay for the subscription after that free trial ends. They would have to actively cancel it if they don't want it. So offering a free trial is a great idea. If I click the promotion section here, obviously you can add your custom artwork, name what the subscription is called. You can give it a unique name. You can enter a custom description or just choose from a list of benefits that Apple Podcast offers. Things like listening ad-free, subscriber-only shows, episodes, or just subscriber-only bonus episodes. The benefits for this show is actually subscriber-only bonus episodes, and that's about it. You can also offer archive access, where older episodes are actually no longer accessible publicly, but listeners would have to pay to access those older shows. That's that archive access. But let's say you're only wanting to do subscriber-only bonus shows. Well, that could be the single benefit, add your pricing. This is what it will look like inside the Apple Podcast app to offer that subscription, and then hit save. The channel will need to be approved and then published, so that, again, lasts about 24 to 48 hours before it's live. And you will need to add at least one piece of bonus content or subscriber-only audio before the channel can go live. So let's walk through how to do that and how you'll add this content going forward. Going back to the main dashboard, I'll go to my show that is part of a channel and has that subscriptions enabled. If I go over to episodes, this is where we were before, I'm gonna hit the plus button, and this is gonna be creating a subscriber-only audio. Name will be the title of this episode. So let's just call this bonus episode and click create. Now this is what a blank episode page looks like where you can provide all the details. You can add a description for this bonus content, and this is important. You can add custom episode artwork. Now for bonus content that you're just uploading into Apple Podcast, you do need to add that custom episode artwork there in the dashboard. But if you have a public podcast with a normal podcast host like Buzzsprout or Transistor, then that custom episode artwork actually comes from your host. For instance, this is a Transistor podcast where it's hosted. And if I go into a specific episode, I have the title, I have the description down here, but the custom episode artwork actually shows up right here. This is where I would upload it. And if you upload it there in your podcast host, once Apple Podcast grabs the episode from the RSS feed, that custom episode artwork will show up in the app. So you don't need to upload it in both places if it's just a public, regular podcast. You just put it in your podcast host and it'll show up in the Apple Podcast app. But if you're doing subscriber-only audio, again, this is audio in Apple Podcasts that's only listenable by those who pay for your show, then you'll add your custom episode artwork right here. The artwork needs to be 3,000 pixels square, either JPEG or PNG format, and this is where you would upload it. You can choose a file from your computer, save, and then that will upload to the Apple Podcast dashboard and it'll process it. Again, one of those big changes in iOS 17 was custom episode artwork is shown pretty much everywhere, and so it can make each episode stand out. That's why you want custom episode artwork. If you want to learn more about those iOS 17 changes, check out my video above or in the description. Now, if this episode has explicit content like profanity, you might want to check that box. Original release date. For original release date, if this is just bonus content, just choose the day you plan to make it live or publish it. If this is early access content, meaning you're giving those who pay for it early access, choose the date you plan to have the public episode live. Let's say, for instance, I'm going to publish this immediately for paid subscribers of my show, but I'm going to offer this publicly on Friday. Then I'm actually going to choose Friday for the original release date. That's going to show in Apple Podcasts that the original release date is Friday for everyone subscribers get it today. You can choose your episode number and season number, and then depending on the kind of content, you can choose bonus, like this is a bonus episode, only available to paid subscribers, or this is a full episode, and this is just an ad-free or early access version. You can put in a custom episode website here, and then the last step is to upload subscriber audio. If I click that, I can choose whether I want to make this audio available immediately, or make this audio available starting on a set date. Let's say I want to make this audio available tomorrow for subscribers, which is September 20th, and then for Friday, September 22nd, for everyone. That's how I would do this, or again, you could just make it available immediately. If I hit next, now I can choose this is subscriber only, or anyone can listen. And if you choose subscriber only, you can choose always, starting, or until. So let's choose a random date, let's say Monday the 25th. If I choose this, the episode that I publish right now will be available for anyone to listen, whether they pay for the show or not, but on September 25th, it will go behind the paywall. So they'll basically have four or five days to listen to it, and if they don't, 
then they'll have to pay to access this episode. That's what it means to start subscriber only at a set date. Alternatively, you can choose make this audio subscriber only until a certain date. That means only people who pay for it right now can access it, and then on September 22nd, it will be public for all to listen to. That's the difference between making it subscriber starting on a date or until a date. Or to make it easy, just say this is only for subscribers always. Only if someone pays can they listen to this particular bonus episode or ad-free version. I'll click Save here, and now I choose to upload an audio file. You can upload a WAV, FLAC, or MP3 file. And just one note, if you use MP3 chapters in your podcast, this actually strips the audio file of those chapters. So people who actually pay for your show, like an ad-free version, they actually won't get those chapters in their podcast player. It's unfortunate. I'm trying to talk to Apple Podcasts about that, but that's just the current case. Upload your audio file, it will process, and then once it's processed, you can publish this episode, whether it's subscriber only, bonus, early access, or an ad-free version of your full episode. Apple Podcasts also offers incredible analytics for listeners, how many people follow, actually engage with your show. You can see payments, how much your subscriptions will be bringing in this month. And of course, you can add different users to manage this podcast along with you and change your banking details for those subscription payments. So that's how to create a new show or channel and offer paid subscriptions in Apple Podcasts. And remember, episode artwork is important. So if you can have custom episode artwork for your shows, it's going to make a big visual difference in the Apple Podcasts player. If you have any questions about Apple Podcasts, setting up your show, or submitting it to Spotify, leave a comment below this video. We answer all those comments. And we have videos showing you how to do all that as well. Those links are in the description. Also, subscribe to the Riverside channel. We have lots of tools and resources to make it easy to podcast, like our Magic Clips feature in the Riverside editor, and we have resources on lighting, cameras, audio and mics, and a ton more. And before you go, you should definitely check out this video over here. I think you'll like it.